After only seven months of launching, two independent teams of scientists announced that the telescope might have spotted a galaxy from 13.5 billion years ago, just 300 million years after the Big Bang. If the findings are confirmed, the galaxy would be the most distant ever detected. Webb's ultra-powerful detectors can detect light from far-flung regions of the universe. Since this light traveled such a vast distance, it is very old, and scientists want to study it to understand more about the universe's early days. Since these findings have not yet been published, they must undergo peer review. Furthermore, the researchers require further data to corroborate the findings. The instruments on the telescope are still being calibrated. The researchers also discovered a second galaxy that may have existed at the same time as the previous most remote galaxy. These early galaxies are small in comparison to our present galaxy. While the Milky Way is now roughly 100,000 light years across, the newly found galaxies are only 2,000 light years across. One of these examples is this beautiful color image of a redshift of 16.7 galaxies from Callum Donnan, an astrophysics PhD student. This galaxy is 35 billion light years away observed as it was just 235 million years after the Big Bang. Nevertheless, all newly observed galaxies are bigger than astronomers would anticipate for such young galaxies, weighing nearly a billion times more than our Sun. This shows that stars formed quicker than previously thought in the early cosmos. Scientists can figure out the age of light, in part by observing how close together the peaks of its waves are. As the cosmos has expanded since the Big Bang, Light has been stretched out into redder wavelengths that Webb's infrared detectors can detect. Scientists must now examine the chemical composition of light to verify that it is from 13.5 billion years ago. With Webb already in the sky, older galaxies should be discovered considerably more regularly. The telescope's full detection capability has yet to be unleashed, and it only has been focused on a small portion of space. The good news is that more preprint papers featuring candidates for galaxies much farther away than the one discovered last week have already been submitted on the preprint server, Archive. So, if you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.